everyone, Swadika. Welcome to the weekly Oracle show. Um, <clears throat> my name is Erica, and uh, this is actually for the past two weeks, but I was on vacation for um, the one week, so not too much happened. But um, anyway, just actually to start with a uh, message today, um, it was really odd. It was, uh, I washed the water bowls in the morning, and I had brought them out, and somehow one of the water bowls got flipped up and landed on my chicken named Sinky, and she she uh, represents synchronicity. So um, this is just really calling your attention to the synchronicities in your life. Um, there's two reasons people have things coming synchronistic in, in your life. This is the probably the number one way like magic happens. You know, this is the order of the universe, how, how synchronicity happens. And um, it happens for two reasons. One is that um, you are, you're just, your awareness is being called to a message or you're like the universe is delivering your, your, you a message from, you know, another person or about a situation. So, um, you know, it, it's just information. It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily tell you what's going to happen or um, direct you to do something, but it's just information so that you, you understand what, you know, what's going on behind the scenes. So that's one way um, synchronicity works is to bring you messages. And um, the other way synchronicity works is with timing and making things happen in timing for you. Um, I talked a little bit about one, one of the things that we can do to influence our reality is we, we create a frame of reference for, for what we want to do, our plans, um, what, what we need to execute, what we need to get done, what we need to um, say, what we need to act out, what, whatever it is, um, you know, that, that we need to, what we're framing for ourselves. We have a goal, we have a trajectory, we have a plan, right? And we can't always make that plan work, but we can have that plan and have that frame of reference. And then synchronicity, sometimes within your frame of reference that you have all set up, sometimes um, sometimes the universe will just uh, make a way for you. It'll present an opportunity. It'll present a door or a window or something. So, um, so as soon as you see it, you can, you know, you can say it. A lot of times if, if I need to, you know, say something or do something and I, I'm waiting for the right timing and I, I wait and I wait and I wait and usually I, I get that timing, you know, something, something presents and I'm like, bam, good, you know, I got it. So, um, so anyway, uh, since the bowl kind of, uh, like turned on her, and then I, I didn't even know, but I, I just picked up the bowl and <laughs> there she was underneath. So um, it reminds me of, you know, one of those games like, ah, it's under there, you know. So um, just, just, to, uh, just to call your awareness to the synchronicity is the message with that to start. Okay, so we have had an odd um, couple weeks of, of stranglings. And nobody's died, but um, we've had... Uh, three stranglings this week. Really odd. So one of them was a uh, little spirit angel and she was, um, she was right before I was going to leave on my trip. Uh, I, somehow she likes to have her egg in the food bag in the, in the chicken house. And, um, and somehow she got her head stuck in the, the, there's like some ropes on the top of it, you know, that kind of shredded and she got her, somehow got her neck stuck in there and it tightened on her so it was like you know really stuck and um <clears throat> and so we had to cut her loose and and Magdalena was sitting there picking on her because she had her babies and um you know she, as far as she was concerned there's you know somebody making commotion in her area where her babies were so she was picking on little spear who couldn't do anything because she was stuck by you know this this uh thing that had her hanging you know but anyway, I was able to cut her loose, and she was okay. She was a little, you know, flustered. But anyway, the whole message in, in um, first of all, with, with the concept of a strangling, I've seen this come up before um, in the past, and it really indicates that um, 
that a person's life path is being is being blocked or completely like cut off from them where um, they have been you know abducted or taken or you know just really blocked or um, things things are, are really cutting them off from their life force they they are are losing their um, relationships to people they're re they're losing important relationships to people they're losing you know jobs that are meaningful they're they're losing um, you know their their happiness they're losing their life they're losing you know their their um, you know, connections to everything, you know, their, their dreams, their plans, their passions, their goals, they're losing it all, you know. And this is usually, um, you know, a very, you know, horrible thing for everybody because it's not just that one person who gets cut off from their life path, but everybody who needs that person in their life, you know, the family, the children, the um you know the, the business partners the friends the you know the people I mean people can there everybody has their own unique way and things that their talents and their gifts in the world and if you know if we had lost you know uh, da Vinci Leonardo da Vinci we would have lost a lot if we lost many of these artists we would have lost a lot if we lost Jesus we would have lost a lot if we lost Muhammad we would have lost a lot you know, we, if we had lost Buddha, we would have lost a lot. You know, if these people were, you know, totally cut, cut off from their, their life path, if they were, you know, strangled in some way where, where they could not have the life that they needed to have and do the things they needed to do, then, um, then this is the concept of like a strangling you know and we need everybody to be able to have their life path because it's not just about that one person it's about all the people around them and their relationships and and um, you know what they're here to do for the world so anyway um, then the second one was a, a little black one that got strangled in the um, in the netting and uh, that one I, I thought was gonna die because um, it was like seizuring. I, th I thought it broke its neck or sprained it or something, but I did I did uh, work on it for a while and then um, you know I just had it rest and thank God it, it came back and it was fine. It's fine now. But um, that one, its color was black and um, so the black the black represents uh, the full blown personality. You know, like who a person really is when they're you know when they're personality is bright and you know manifested and you know when a person is really um, present in the world you know and then this this chicken is kind of going through a little awkward stage you know they go through this um, awkward stage when they're getting their new feathers and kind of losing their baby feathers and getting more adult feathers so um, it is it is in a little bit of an awkward stage so this represents to me somebody who's a little bit vulnerable and um, but is really uh, they are who who you know they they are they're alive you know like they they have their personality but they're a little bit vulnerable and it, this this is like cut you know their life path is being cut right now but like I said nobody's died so that's good but there's a strain here on, on this life path thing and then the third one was um, today also and. Um, also got caught it was trying to like go through the netting and got caught and um, that one was uh, it looked kind of looked like a road runner so I was thinking uh, you know since it looks like a road runner this this represents something that's fast you know something that happens fast and um, and this is kind of getting you know the, the strangling to the hold up you know so again uh, we have we kind of have a, a wait, <clears throat> a, a maybe a pause, you know, and um, that one was also okay. Um, we do have snowball um, that right now, snowball represents something that could be good or it could be bad, but it escalates, right? And snowball has foul pox really bad. It, it, she came down with it like really bad this week and um, she's looking pretty gnarly. I'll, I'll I'll show you her just so you guys can see what this stuff looks like because this is the dry pox but 
Um, anyway, she should be fine and it should clear up in a couple weeks. So, and she's had it for a couple weeks already, but um, it just went full blown. So I, I'm assuming it's gonna take an, at least an, another couple weeks, maybe three weeks. And then, and then um, what, you know, what is all over her face, what's, you know, kind of uh, taking her face, you know, she, she kind of, you know, she doesn't, she doesn't have her face right now, you know. So this will be renewed in, in like two to three weeks. So, um, and, then, and then to me that, that means like the, kind of the direction of the snowball will change, you know. This, she'll be refreshed, she'll look great, and um, so that'll kind of go in a different direction. Um, oh, there's all these little babies out right now yelling, but um, anyway, so also um, I'll show you Magdalena. Magdalena, um, oh, I, I forgot to mention that um, Magdalena represents uh, somebody who, who's had a, like a lot of grief and a lot of loss. And um, so, you know, in Little Spirit represents um, <clears throat> some, somebody who's on the other side. So they might even be in this physical world, but they're not in your life. Like, it's like they're beyond the veil, you know. They're, they're not in your life. So, um, so Little Spirit was the one that was that was kind of trapped and then um, Magdalena who who was grief stricken and you know probably there's a little PTSD there was picking on her so she didn't really Magdalena didn't understand what was going on and she was angry and when really uh, little spirit was you know being was stuck you know she couldn't she couldn't do what she she needed to do which was get out of there because she was he you know stuck on this thing um, so the other thing about Magdalena though is that um, right now she, she's getting over something that has been about a, a nine month problem for her where she's been picking her feathers off like in her chest area so this is like you know her heart area her heart, heart center and it's kind of like a, a self-sabotaging behavior that she's had and she never really had it before but I, I do think that it, it is tied into her grief and her loss and um, this has been going on for about nine months, and now she's getting all of these feathers in, and it's all coming back, and she looks great. So um, it's almost like, I don't know, whatever has been going on in the nine, la last nine months, it's, it's really reviving, um, coming back to life, and really getting strong, where um, whatever self-sabotaging behaviors were going on, they're ending now. So um, it's a really, a really good, healthy state. That, that a person is coming into and really means like over, getting over this grief and this loss. So that's great. So, um, so I guess that's about it for, for those things. And I'll show you those two chickens so you can see the feathers and, and Snowball's face. Okay, so here we have Magdalena and I'll show you all her feathers coming in here. They look like a little spikes or something. I was saying, she kind of has a goth look going on. I don't know if you guys know um, the goth thing that we have in the United States. Sometimes people, uh, they'll, they'll, you know, dress in all black and be, be kind of dark and, um, you know, they, they like to carry metal. I don't know. <laughs> but it, it, she, she looks kind of like, um, you know, not to be messed with. And I always get the impression from goth the goth look is, you know, these people want to be left alone. Um, they're they're kind of like, you know, they want to be seen as dark. They want to be, you know, kind of, uh, they, they want to be removed a little bit from society. So, she's, <laughs> okay. She's not really wanting to be on camera. But, um, anyway, and then I'll show you Snowball. Okay, so this is Snowball, and, um, you can see all her little um, marks. These are her her earlobes here. They're just filled with stuff, and it's all around her eyes and her beak. So she's not looking her hottest right now, but uh, but you know, give it a couple weeks. These these will just fall right off. Um, they're really weird. How they're almost like cancerous, where they they just fill with blood. And the blood vessels go there, and then, but the whole thing just falls off, and and 
you know, a couple weeks, although in in Thailand it takes a month, or at least where my chickens live, <laughs> at least a month, so. Anyway, um, give, it, give her um, a couple weeks or three weeks and she'll get her face back and she'll, she'll be a brand new chicken, so. Um, look for kind of a new, a new, uh, a new face when it comes to snowball effect when, uh, in a couple weeks or three weeks, so. Let's go really get going. Now, um, <clears throat> the, the big thing, well, there was, there was a lot of, um, baby deaths. Uh, I, I think there might have been something contaminating the incubator, so I, I really did do a good sanitation job, and I'm doing another round of babies now, but um, something, uh, you know, they, they were dying a lot, and that was just kind of sad. I, I hate it when, you know, the universe puts so much, you know, attention and, or, and time and energy into creating a, a life, and then to see it die is really upsetting, and um, so I did, I, I tried everything to try and prevent their continual death, you know, and it was only those little babies that, that were dying, uh, nobody else, so I, I figure it was just something, you know, that was, I mean, the babies are always a lot more vulnerable, so I let them go in the main house free because I, you know, I thought the close quarters were a problem for them, and I wasn't worried that the adults would get anything because these are home hatched, you know, I mean, they're, they're, it's not like they're introducing anything, so, um, <coughs> anyway, little little Chewy was um, in there, and I, you know, I'd always go check on little Chewy, and little Chewy's so cute. You guys remember from last video? I wish I had a, another um, clip of little Chewy, but Chewy was so cute, and I was so close to little Chewy because I spent so much time with him, and he slept two nights in my hands the first two nights, and. You know, he, he was just um, such special, so special with his little markings, so cute. And um, and every time, you know, I'd see him, he'd come running up to me. He was so cute. And, um, anyway, part of the reason it, it took me, uh, besides being on vacation, it took me a little bit to do this video because I, I really wasn't ready to talk about this. But um, <clears throat> I lost my little Chewy. What happened was um, I... You know, I had just done a video about talking about um, psychopaths and about how psychopaths will destroy, you know, they'll, they'll destroy, target people and destroy that person's life and not only that person's life but all the lives around them by destroying that person's life, you know. And, and it's just really annoying how um, people in society really encourage a, a bad apple, you know, a, a psychopath a, is a clinical definition. We're going to talk about psychopaths today because this is a very important topic that uh, I would like to go into today um, because of what what happened. But um, you know, I said everyone just hands the psychopath everything they want on a golden platter, and and they they destroy all these lives just to please the psychopath to keep them quiet. But they don't understand the consequences of destroying all of these lives. And, and it's not so much the psychopath that's the problem. It's the way all of society is relating to this psychopath. It's called the Lucifer effect. And it's about how um, systems and societies breed psychopathology by empowering these people because they don't feel comfortable with these people. And um, so what they do is they give them everything on a golden platter. And this is destroying our world. So, uh, I, I just talked about this golden platter and I went out and I noticed in the coop uh, that the this little golden platter I had was moved. It's, it's a plastic little platter, right? It was moved and it was kind of up on like on a banana leaf, like a little bit, just like that. And I don't know why this went through my mind, but I said, my little Chewy better not be under there. And it was the weirdest thought that I had. And I was like, that, that, and I, I actually noticed how bizarre this thought was that I had. And I lift up the plate and there was my little Chewy. So, and you know, I was thinking about Chewy. Chewy actually really 
is more the the meaning of chewy is more like um, your sweet little baby. You know, your little. My mom used to call me a munchie. I was my mom's little munchie. You know, and and that's like my little chewy. You know, I I just every morning like my little chewy. You know, like my little munchie, my little baby, the ones that we love so much. We're killed because of the golden platter. You know, so anyway. Um, people don't realize that if if you do someone a favor that they don't deserve not only are you gonna get it but other people are gonna get it bad in 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 return because uh, in that I see that happen every single time every single time in my life that I have given somebody something they didn't deserve it it destroyed me it it they they came back and took everything from me I mean it was not worth it it was not worth it and then, um, you know, the, the way other people's lives were affected as well, um, it, it was not worth it. And I have also seen many, many other people do that. You know, it, they, you know, hand the golden platter over and then they lose everything. They, the psychopath will take this golden platter and then they will take all the other golden platters around. You, it's like you give them the right and the encouragement and the, the right away to, to really, um, to do whatever they want. So anyway, um, I'm going to check on the the um, camera, and we'll we'll um, talk a little bit more about this this phenomena because I, I do have these books here, and I want to I want to define what a, the clinical definition is and talk a little bit about. Um, okay, so the camera the camera shut off, um, but what I was going to say is uh, I, I want to talk about. Um, psychopathology, how to identify it within a woman and within a man, because it manifests kind of differently between a woman and a man, because women and men are pretty different with their the way they um, think and do things. So, um, And then also I want to talk about the, the victims, the targets, the heavy targets and then the lighter targets, and then, um, you know, how we can, how we can uh, manage this stuff, like things that we can do when we see um, somebody being attacked or if we're being attacked ourselves, if we see somebody who's, you know, uh, a predator, you know, coming, trying to get something, how, how we can manage that. Um, and then also the, the Lucifer effect to talk about that and, and look at how it is working in societies. And, you know, I know not everyone is, um, you, you can't tell someone who, who might look like a psychopath might not be because people fall into it so easily and it's like a, a numbing effect and a lot of people are, are really um, starting to, to act like this like you know they're, they're taking on these qualities and and it's just like um, kind of a mass uh, a mass influence that that is is kind of going to work, you know, and, and we need to wake up to this and really, um, you know, look at this and figure out better ways to do this, better ways to manage so we don't lose our, our little munchies, our little, you know, our little chewies, so. Okay, um, I also am going to do a separate video for that because this video is so long already and um, the, the second part is, is going to be long also, so I'm going to do part one and part two and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the lettuce reading now. And then um, I'll, I'll post part two a little bit later. I, I actually am just throwing this in at the end um, because uh, I already did the video and then the camera shut off and I, I wasn't sure what I said or what I didn't say. So I, I'm going to have to add things in and then uh, take things out that I said twice because I, I, I wasn't sure what the camera actually had recorded. So it was got confusing. So anyway, um, I'll do the lettuce reading and then there will be a part two where I, I get into um, kind of all this other stuff that, that kind of got brought up that I feel like needs to be addressed because of what, what happened with the chickens this week. So, okay, one minute. Okay, chickens are really ready. <laughs> one minute.
Okay, so uh, we had, um, first we had Amida, which is, uh, it's forgiveness or protection. And um, this is about, either we need to accept who somebody is and be okay with that. And, um, and you know, just know that we can't change them. We don't have to be disappointed. Um, you know, maybe maybe they were conning us. Maybe maybe we just had a, a false expectation or a false belief. But uh, we just need to be okay with who everybody is and and know that their limitations and who who they cannot be. And we know that we can find uh, the people that we really would like. And if we wish somebody was a certain way, we can go off in the world and find those people. And we don't have to be angry or upset that somebody wasn't who we thought they were or um, you know maybe maybe we need to protect ourselves and, um, and sometimes anger comes from uh, not you know not being in a safe situation so we need to get the third parties we need to get the group aware of our situation and do everything we can to have mediators get other people's help um, you know get around people and and that is really really important community is really important for um, protection so um, and then you know the other the other thing too is forgiveness is you know maybe there's um, people you know people have their limitations they don't know how to handle things maybe they maybe uh, they just didn't know what to do and and we have to be okay with that and, and sometimes people can learn sometimes it's that easy they just learn and and you know they are good people and once they learn um, it's okay you know and and things can change you know so um, but if if they can't change then we need to protect ourselves so and we need to move on and, and get those people out of our lives okay then the second one was make a wish so we want to make a wish keep, get our frame of reference uh, blow our our seeds and wait for um, that synchronicity to bring the opportunities to us. Uh, we need to be able to jump on, on on the opportunities in our life and move forward when when the timing is right. But we, we want to make our wish and get our frame of reference and and um, you know have our happiness in our own personal lives to to be able to um, get the life that we deserve. And then um, we had this guy who. I don't know. He's a really beautiful-looking, punky rooster. <laughs> it is a, a mental. Uh, he, he's a he's a very beautiful um, mental wood element. Um, are you coming to say hello too? Hi. Yeah, this is the boy. Yeah, we're talking. You want to say anything? No. How cute. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say he's like a little punk rocker because I don't know if you can see his head feathers but they're really they're really cute and um, so I want to say uh, don't don't be afraid to freak the freaks you know be a little crazy be a little um, be a little eccentric be a little different you know uh, you you want to hold your power um, you can be passionate with what you say that's okay just don't be emotional don't when 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 you're emotional it's it's that you have doubt in yourself and and you're upset about what somebody has done don't you shouldn't care you know but you want to say something with passion go for it you know if you want to you know if you want to look a little crazy go for it you know i i always say i freak the freaks you know you you know you call them on their stuff look really smart know your know your stuff you know um have no fear so this this guy's like a little punk rocker so I, I don't know that's that's what I get from him and he's black and white and a bunch of other colors too a little beige but um, but mostly black and white um, and so more black than white so it's like um, you, you really want to uh, have have your full-blown personality and um, which is the black but then you you want to you know keep it keep it pure keep, you know don't you, you don't want to get abusive you want to be in a state of purity also so um, you have that white where where you're, you're being pure um, you're you're not you're not being don't be abusive do not be abusive be kind but be honest and be truthful 
So, um, and then the last one was a little, uh, a little um, red, red orange rooster. Uh, he's an orange, orange rooster. So, um, and this guy, this guy, <laughs> this is him. He, he actually had a, a little problem before. He was not looking so good um, since the day he was born, and now he's really coming out of it and looking good. So um, I think that this is a message that um, really, uh, the orange is relationship, and, and um, I think that you're strong enough in your relationships. This is saying uh, strength. You, maybe there was a weakness in your relationship before, but now, now you're strong in your relationship, and you can really um, take your power, you know, stand your ground, and... Um, you know, you, you you will be heard and, and you will be seen as healthy. You will be seen as healthy. So, um, and I guess that was it. So, okay, I will see you next week. I hope everyone got what they needed out of this today. And um, feel free to contact me if you have any questions. And um, I, I do plan to start a world healing, another video thing. So I'll, I'll probably go into stuff later and, um, you know, other videos. So anyway, okay. Have a great week. Swadika.